Welcome to this video tutorial about creating lightning streaks in 3ds Max. For a project I've been working on, I needed a few lines that were acting like they were a lightning. And I've created this effect you can see right here. So I have the three moons around a lab and some lines that were distorting to create the effect that it was uh, all on, energy was full, and um, something big is going to happen. So how did I create this effect? Let's not save it, new all. Um, there we go. Uh, first, let's create a line and take off a few points in between. So just a few. If, we, if you want to get a more detailed lightning, you can get more points. This will suffice. Um, I had it between two points, so I needed it to be um, solid on each point. It couldn't just get all over the place. Um, first, go to your Modify tab and click Enable in Renderer and Enable in Viewport. Um, adjust your thickness if you want it. Uh, this is fine for me and check off optimize to get the most jagged line you can get because lightning is usually jagged now the cool part about 3ds max is you can actually add modifiers to specific vertices of an object or for this instance a line so we're going to click vertices and then we're going to select all the vertices between the beginning and end point so now we get these vertices and go to your modify list and type in noise click on noise now you have created a modifier on only those vertices like you can see here you get a few points uh, you can see in the line you have selected uh, vertices and those vertices are transferred to the noise modifier and you will only be adding the noise modifier to um, those vertices that you have selected so um, we're gonna push in the strength and type in 100 could depend on uh, your scene and how big your scene is how many units you had so um, and click animate noise so if we press press play you can see it's going smoothly okay select your line and check uh, check fractal so here we go uh, sorry here we go Okay, it's going all over the place, it's going really fast. Um, we're gonna, well, let's maybe try 50. Not get too wild, 25, 25. There we go. And press play. This is going pretty fast, but it's all right. Um, you can play around with these settings, you can play around with the phase, you can play around with the frequency you wanna get the noise in, but this is the technique I used. Um, what you have to look out for is that when 3ds Max creates the animated noise keyframes, when you go up to Graph Editor's Track View Curve Editor, you can see that this line is um, uh, eased in and eased out. So when you select these, you can see these uh, Bezier handles. And we don't want that because we want the effect all the way the entire You don't want that because you want the effect uh, the same in the entire animation. So we're going to click set tangles to linear to get the effect the same every time. So here we go. It's pretty, pretty frequent. Um, what you can do to increase the effect is um, uh, just duplicate it. Control V and get a copy. And you can go to the Modify tab and uh, push in another seat. So it's going to get another, a different kind of noise. And I have two lines working with each other. And you can see they're uh, still staying on the same spot. They're just rotating. You can see it right here. Um, you can also animate these vertices. Uh, you can first animate the lines and then uh, put a noise modifier on top of that. I used that for um, when, the s when the moons were, um, the moons you just saw were flying around a little. Um, but this is the basic effect. So uh, if you have any questions about this, if you want to see what, uh, how I create the glow effect in After Effects, 
please ask in the comments. Um, I hope to see you next time.